Uh, although there's competitors now ramping up, and yeah. as you're familiar with BYD, which is also on the West Coast, I think they're ramping up production of their electric vehicles. Uh, Warren Buffett owns 10% stake in that. Uh, why do you laugh? BYD is trying to compete. Why do you laugh? Have you seen their car? You're obviously a very competitive person. You're competing with the likes of Jeff Bezos uh, in... Uh... Jeff who? <laughs> Here we are on top of our giant uh, bowl of liquid oxygen. They say SpaceX has big balls, and it's true. There was some recent article about how I'm such a great marketer. Um, and like, I say the stupidest things. That cannot possibly be true. Uh, <laughs> my issue is that I don't have a filter, not that I have too much of a filter. Actually, you know what's great is the Lego movie. <laughs> I, really, I really like the Lego movie. It's really great. Um, I know what the headline tomorrow is now going to be. Everything is awesome. <laughs> well, I think any, any natural resource extraction on Mars would be, the, the output would be for Mars. Like, it definitely wouldn't make sense to transport Mar stuff 200 million miles back to Earth. Um, you know, honestly, like if you had like crack cocaine on Mars, like in pre-packaged, you know, pallets, <laughs> it still wouldn't make sense to transport it back here. <laughs> Maybe good times for the Martians, but <laughs> not back here. <laughs> it would like, I mean, it'd be kind of weird if the aliens landed in the ocean with parachutes and be like, okay, <laughs> nothing to fear. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's, it ends up being a moot point because y you want to bring the spaceship back. Like, these spaceships are expensive, okay? If they're hard to build, <laughs> you can't just leave them there. <laughs> So whether or not people want to come back or not is kind of, like, they can jump on if they want, but they need the spaceship back. Our own U.S. Air Force is funding the Russians to compete against us. It's super messed up. I mean, what the f***, you know. Didn't you say to me uh, earlier in this conversation, we don't want to do business with jerks? Who, does, who does? Right, well, so I'm wondering, was, was <laughs> well, it, it, in my business, sadly, it's occasionally necessary. It's um, unfortunate. The Model X is now over two years late. What went wrong? Well, I, I, I do have an issue with punctuality, I have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> you have this great shot of green plants on a red background, and. Um, I thought, okay, maybe that would get the money shot. It would be, that, be the money shot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, never, I'm never quite sure whether that's a sort of a, a word you can use or not. Um, <laughs> um. <laughs> you know, nobody's a CEO of a, of a company forever. I mean, eventually, you know, they, they carry you out. Um, you know, a friend asked me at a party, hey, what are you going to call a third generation car? I was like, well, we've got the S and the X. We might as well make it the E, you know. Uh, uh, and. Uh, and then it kind of stuck, um, even, though, <laughs> even though we were just kidding. Um, and then, and then just, just to sort of add to it, we also, just, just for laughs, uh, trademarked the Model Y. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, but I guess it's, it's, things are pretty dry in the trademark world, so <laughs> nobody picked up on that. Um, and anyway, then... Um, then, then, then Ford, Ford gave us a call and said they were going to sue us uh, for using Model E. And we're like, okay, f like Ford's killing sex. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rahul Sanad from uh, Los Angeles, and I have a Tesla watch. <laughs> oh, you know, so, I, we, we do not make Tesla watches, I should point out. <laughs> it's, it's electric. But, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's beautiful. We went on a date. I was, all I was talking about was electric cars. Uh -huh. um, it, that was not a, big, a winning conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a bit of a monologue, was it? Yeah, she said, uh, she, she said the first question I asked her was, do you ever think about electric cars? <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, she so never does. <laughs> so, so you learn from that. That wasn't the best yeah, shout out line. Yeah, wasn't, it wasn't great. But, great. But it has, uh, recently, it's been more effective. <laughs> Wait, don't go in that way. Don't go in that way. Go away this from me. This is crazy. Go away from me. Okay. Okay.
Oh, oh, Jesus, sorry. Speaking of mishaps, I just stabbed you. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm sitting here talking with a guy from All right. Tesla. All right, you get the last word, my friend. I love you, Will. <laughs> so you wreck the car, you get out of the car, you're doubling over with laughter. And the <laughs> really? person with you said, why are you laughing that you just wrecked this car? And you said, no, you don't know the funny part. It wasn't insured. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the punchline's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably number one on the list of famous last words. I said, watch this. <laughs> yeah, watch this. Um, that, that could be awkward with a rocket launch. The stock price down again today, 10%. Do you care about that? I mean, it's, it kind of sucks running a public company. <laughs> you think it's more dangerous to patent than not to patent? I, it, since our primary competitors are national governments, um, the enforceability of patents is questionable. Much less than we spend on health care, but maybe more than we spend on lipstick. You know, something like that. I'm a, and I like lipstick. It's not like I've got anything against it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I can't wait for that comment to go out there. <laughs> California taxpayers are going to be on the hook to, you know, to, to build the most expensive a high-speed rail per mile in the world, and the slowest, um, <laughs> which, which is, yeah. those are not the superlatives you want. Yeah. Um, um, and it's like, that just seemed extremely crazy that GM would ignore this, because um, you know, it's quite rare for people to hold a candle at vigil about a product, um, <laughs> and particularly a GM product. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I think the reality of being president is that you're actually like the captain of a very huge ship and have a small rudder. Um, <laughs> Previously, when people have tried to make a reusable system, they found that, um, that they would get some portion of the way and then conclude that success was not one of the possible outcomes. Um, you know, in, in government programs, of course, that the program would still continue for quite some time. <laughs> The, the ultimate goal of SpaceX is to develop the technologies um, that, that can take humanity to Mars. Would you want to be on that flight? I'd like to go to Mars, absolutely. I think it would be great to be born on Earth and uh, die on Mars. Uh, just um, hopefully not at the point of impact. Hi, Elon Musk speaking. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, and Elon Musk anxiously waits for his golden payoff, his prize for paying his dues in the valley. I expect to receive uh, a car that I've just bought, which is called the McLaren F1. It's a million dollars for a car. It's, it's, uh, it's decadent. There are 62 McLarens in the world, and I will own one of them. Back in 95, there weren't very many people on the internet, um, and certainly nobody was making any money at all. Uh, most people thought the internet was going to be a fad. Not this South African entrepreneur. Musk sold his first computer program at the age of 12, and he hasn't stopped selling since. Wow, I can't believe it's actually here. It's pretty wild, man. Just three years ago, I was showering in the, at the Y and sleeping on the office floor. And now, obviously, I've got a million-dollar car and quite a few creature comforts. It is a moment in my life. <laughs> All clear. My values may have changed. But I'm not consciously aware of my values having changed. My fear is that we become spoiled brats, that we lose a sense of appreciation and um, perspective. A year ago, Musk sold his software company, Zip2, which enabled newspapers to publish online for $400 million cash. Receiving cash is cash. I mean, those are just a large number of Ben Franklins. It's a perfect car for Silicon Valley. It really is. There is, gentlemen, the fastest car in the world. I could go and buy one of the islands in the Bahamas uh, and turn it into my you know, personal fiefdom. Wow. I'm much more interested in trying to uh, build and create a new company. So this is an ATM. What we're going to do is transform the traditional banking industry. Yeah, I do not fit the picture of a banker. X.com, this is Julie. Raising $50 million is a matter of making a series of phone calls. And the money is there. I've sunk the great majority of, of my net worth into X.com, which is the new banking and mutual funds company on the internet that I've started. Big, big X. Exactly. X.com. 
I think X.com could absolutely be a, a multi-billion dollar bonanza. Because if you look at the industry that X is pursuing, it's the biggest sector of the world economy. Is that a McLaren F1? Yes. Oh my God. That's unbelievable. <laughs> it's sort of like a series of poker games. And now I've gone on to a more high stake poker game and just carry those chips with me. And I haven't gone and taken my winnings and spent a big chunk, but I've just really put almost all of it back into the new game. No, I'd, I'd say the real payoff is the sense of satisfaction in having created the company that I sold. Yes, 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 with the cars. But the car sure is. The cars. Sure is. Let's fun. be honest. <laughs> sure is. You'll take the car. If you talk to any of these people who have hit the jackpot early, they don't even have a conceptualization of the amount of money that they have. It's funny money. It's something you don't even think about. The amazing thing is that almost none of them quit, even when they could. It's not a vesting thing. It's not that there's some secret clause in there that keeps them from doing it. They want to do what they're doing. They think that to stop doing that is death. Well, I'd like to be on the cover of Rolling Stone. That'd be cool. <laughs>